Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. What I have here is my portable Digimode computer. It's no Lenovo ThinkPad. And that's not the, what I'm going to cover in this video, though. Um, because my last video, I went through the Zygu G106 and uh, the DA19. And since I got that, I wanted to put uh, together a little bit of a, a Go kit for that. And prove to you guys that Go boxes don't need to be expensive. You don't need a fancy box. So uh, with no further ado and the magic of video editing, I'm going to remove this laptop and put the Go bag on top here and we'll take a look at the contents. And what I got here is um, an old car DVD player bag. When the kids were smaller, we had um, kind of those two screens um, car DVD solutions in the back seat, and when your kids are four years apart, you can be sure that even though you have one player and two screens, they never want to watch the same thing. But this is relatively compact. Um, it's just that my filming surface is so small, so that makes it look enormous. So let's get a bow thing for scale here, so you can see how big, small it is. And the practical thing about this is that you got a couple of carrying handles here. So you can carry it pretty much, at least as long as you're not going on a soda, it's pretty easy. But um, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. And I got the bag over to the side here and we're going to try to make the most out of this really small space here for filming. So the first thing is of course the G106 here. Um, let's quickly turning into one of my favorite portable rigs small compact and built like a tank and it's got its drawbacks as i talked about in the review video but um all in all it's it's a great little rig and that's everything i keep in this pocket here so let's go ahead and move to the other side pocket and i talked about this being a digimode capable kit so i got the cables for the Saigu DE19 Digimode interface here. And of course, I got the DE19 itself. And before going on, well, we'll do this first of all, though. And I got a tuner here, the AT100. I made a review video about this a couple of videos ago. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and take a look at that. This is a really flexible little tuner. And the reason I have a tuner will be apparent pretty soon. Let's check this centerpiece here. Because with a kit like this, I want to be band agile. I want to be flexible. So I got a cheap eBay. I think I got this off of eBay a lot of years ago. 9 to 1 balance. Um, there's nothing magical to this. It's not a really good balance, but it's small and it's compact. So this is the antenna solution for this compact go bag got a couple of pieces of coax here um i got a short and a long lead um the two short ones one is bnc to bnc and the other is bnc to so sorry bnc to pl259 so i'm, I'm kind of flexible in order for equipment to use there if i shouldn't use the tuner i need an SWR meter so I got this small compact one uh, off of Amazon that compensates for the lack of an SWR meter in the uh, G106 I got the mic for for SSB transmissions then I got this little well I got a standard power cable here for the radio that's not the exciting part but um, I got this USB-C power delivery cable, which is terminated poorly into two power pole connectors here. Um, because with that, I can use the power bank here. And this power bank has USB power delivery. So once you plug this in with the trigger cable, it tells the, uh, tells the power bank to deliver 12 volts. And that's enough to keep the radio running for quite a while this is a 20 milliamp hour power bank so i think that's going to last at least three four activations and then finally um i got 
21 meters of um, of antenna wire for the 91, which should cover at least 40 through 10 and perhaps 80 if you're lucky. And then I have a counterpoise net here. And with the counterpoise net, net this is terminated into a power pole connector. And if I dig enough in this mess I made on my desk, I should find the bell in again. And there is a power pole connector here for the counterpoise. So that makes it easy to use the same power pole net across all kinds of antennas. In this case, a nine to one. Uh, what I don't have here is a mast, but to be honest, I'd use the Little Dude 6 from Ham Radio Dude. That's the best portable mast I have, and that's six meter carbon fiber, so that's nice and light to bring with us in, it, in addition to the laptop I showed. So what do you guys think? Is this really a good combination for for portable radio? This is a go kit that you'd think work. I've been testing this out. I've been taking it outside and, and yes, it does work and it does have what I need to get on the air. Nothing more and nothing less. But it's in a compact package that doesn't take up a lot of, a lot of room. I mean, my G, uh, sorry, not my G, my, uh, my ICOM 706 kit, that takes up quite a bit of room and, and most of the weight in that kit comes from the battery. Being able to use a power bank like I've done here with the USB power delivery cable is a winner. And um, I'm just beginning to look into this USB trigger cable um, magic. But if you want to know a little bit more about it, check out Bob, LB5JJ's channel. Um, he's got a couple of videos on how to do power banks and USB power delivery and trigger cables and all that. Hope you enjoyed this little video of a G106 Go Kit. Hope I gave you some inspiration. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down and leave a comment down below. And if you want to support this channel a little bit, there are a couple of links down below. Uh, but only do that uh, if you can afford it. Anyhow, that's it for now. Hope to see you down the bands. Hope to see you in my next video. 7-3, my friends.